Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. This is going to be a design that I did on my live TikTok. I'm going to try not to complicate this and make it as simple and easy for those who are still beginners. So I'm going to lightly draw this line along my fingers and position where I want to put my rose. I'm not putting pressure on the cone just in case I do a mistake. You will still have time to fix it. So guys, if you've watched my previous videos, I have mentioned that I'm actually using body paint and not actual henna for these videos. Body paint is a good way to practice without staining your skin. This line that I drew earlier, I'm using it as a guide on how to draw my leaf. So I'm just going to add a few leaves all around. So I get this question a lot. How do you stop your hand from shaking or how to keep a steady hand? As you can see, I'm actually resting my hand on the table and I use my pinky finger to reach those areas that I can't reach. So let me go ahead and speed this up for you guys. So even though I posted this design earlier, I am going to not replicate it 100%. I am just freestyling this right now. Just visualizing where to put the roses and the leaves. Going to add another one on this side because it looks a bit empty here. So if you guys find this video really helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, let me know if you think this was a bit easy to do or was it really hard. I honestly don't think this design is hard. I find this design really easy and I'm so happy when people request it because I can literally finish it in like 15 minutes. I kind of suck at doing these video editings and these voiceovers, but I am trying to explain the best that I can. So this is how it looks now and I am going to start the satisfying part, filling in. So I feel like when you draw the pattern first and then you start coloring in, it makes the design look nice and neat. So as you can see that I'm actually resting my hand on my fingers. It keeps my hand nice and steady. So at this point, you can start putting pressure onto the cone and just fill it in. Otherwise, it'll take forever to fill in. So I saw some hen artists draw the designs using a kohol pencil in the beginning. I think that's a really good idea for someone who's a beginner. Draw your pattern with the kohol pencil first. Then you can just go over it with the henna cone. Let me fill this all in for you guys real quick. Look at my pinky here. Look where I placed it. I use my pinky to reach places that I can't reach. And I also use it to give me a steady hand. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and let me know what you guys want to see next. And I appreciate all the subscribers and all your support, guys. I will definitely be posting you guys another video soon. The results. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. And goodbye.